this is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning. Welcome to the celebration of the Mass here at St. Paul's in Canfield, Ohio. Today we'll be celebrating the optional Mass of Jesus Christ, the Divine Master, the Way, the Truth, and the Life. Our celebrant for this Mass will be Father Matthew. As a reminder, please be sure to silence your electronic devices and cell phones. Our opening hymn can be found in the Missalette, number 225, Arise, O Church, Arise. Please stand. Arise, O church, rejoice. Let every heart of fire with passion claim its rightful voice and join with heaven's choir. Time and space embrace us as his own. O rise, O church, to share the triumph of our King. Though sin has trapped us in its snare of shame and suffering, our resurrected Lord has shattered He. Eternal friendship has restored to strengthen and sustain. Good morning. We welcome all of you here at St. Paul Monastery and all who are joining us over our ecumenical channel here in Northeast Ohio. As was mentioned at the beginning of the Mass, today we are celebrating the Feast of Jesus, the Divine Master, the Way, Truth, and Life. This is one of the three major devotions for the uh, Pauline family. The other two are St. Paul the Apostle and Mary, Queen of Apostles. And we always celebrate the Feast of the Divine Master always on the last Sunday in October. And as we come together, let us come together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who in your love have sent us your only Son as universal teacher, grant that we may learn his divine doctrine in order to more easily understand the supernatural realities. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, A prophet like me will the Lord, your God, raise up for you from among your own kinsmen. To him you shall listen. This is exactly what you requested of the Lord, your God, at Horeb. On the day of the assembly, when you said, Let us not again hear the voice of the Lord our God, nor see this great fire any more, lest we die. And the Lord said to me, This was well said. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their kinsmen, and I will put my words into his mouth, he shall tell them all that I command him. If any man will not listen to my words, which he speaks in my name, I myself will make him answer for it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. To you, I lift my soul. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. To you, I lift my soul. second reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In times past, God spoke in fragmentary and varied ways to our fathers through the prophets. In this, the final age, he has spoken to us 
through his Son, whom he has made heir of all things, and through whom he first created the universe. This Son is the reflection of the Father's being, and he sustains all things in his powerful word, and when he has cleansed us from our sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty in heaven, as far superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is superior to theirs. To which of the angels did God ever say, you are my son, today I have begotten you. Or again, I will be his father and he shall be my son. And again, when he leads his firstborn into the world, he says, let all the angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. to the Gentiles and glory for your people Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God and faith in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. Otherwise, how could I have told you that I was going to prepare a place for you? I am indeed going to prepare a place for you, and then I shall come back to take you with me, that where I am you also may be. You know the way that leads where I go. Lord, said Thomas, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus told him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. If you really knew me, you would know my Father also. And from this point on, you know him. You have seen him. Lord, Philip said to him, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Philip, Jesus replied, after I have been with you all this time, you still do not know me. Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I speak are not spoken of myself. It is the Father who lives in me, accomplishing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works I do. I solemnly assure you, the one who has faith in me will do the works I do, and even greater than these, because I go to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so as to glorify the Father in the Son. Anything you ask me in my name, I will do. The Gospel of the Lord. Again, just a few announcements. First of all, as I mentioned last week, I had lost the list of names for the Friends of St. Paul back in June. So if you were not here last Sunday, there are some yellow business pads in the back. Please put your name, your phone number, your address, your email, uh, so that we can contact you and let you know what's happening here at St. Paul Monastery. The second announcement is if you bought tickets for the football craze for the Knights of Columbus, 
That starts today. So look at those names of the teams that you have, and you want them to either score as many points as they can or don't score anything. Because you win if you score the most or you have the least. So that's what you have to cheer for. And of course, being who I am, I think I lost that ticket too, and I don't know where my teams are. Anyway, the most important announcement is Friday is the Feast of All Saints. It's a holy day of obligation, so technically we are all obliged to come to Mass. So if you want to come to Mass here at St. Paul Monastery, we have our usual Sunday schedule, a 7 o'clock Mass and a 10 o'clock Mass. Unfortunately, we do not have any evening masses or any vigil masses. You'll have to go to your local parishes for that. So we hope that if you want to come and join us, we'll see you there on Friday. As we mentioned, today is the Feast of the Divine Master. It is one of the three major feasts that we celebrate. And so we are asked this year to reflect upon the call that we have all received from the Lord. Now, the members of the Pauline family that are gathered here have heard some of this before because this comes from a book that is called the Agenda Paulina or the Pauline Agenda. It comes from Rome and it has a reflection from our founder every day so that we can reflect upon his writings. It also has a list of all the foundations, all the communities and the apostolate centers and what have you of the entire Pauline family so we can pray for them as well. It also lists the members of our Pauline family who have died on each particular day so we can remember them in our prayers as well. And so the theme for this year is a twofold theme. One is come to me, all of you, and the other is the secret of success. Now come to me, all of you, is the words that our founder, Blessed James Alberioni, heard as a seminarian at the turn between the 19th and 20th century. As a seminarian from the Diocese of Alba, Italy, he went to the cathedral and spent time on New Year's Eve praying before the Blessed Sacrament. And he heard the voice coming from the tabernacle, come to me, come to me all of you. And he felt that he was called to do something for the people of the new century, which was to use the media to communicate the word of God. And that's what we in the Society of St. Paul and the Pauline family is all about. How can we use the media to share the gospel message? And so we are reminded that all of us have been called by God. So reflect upon the call that you receive, whether you're a single person, whether you're a married couple, whether you're a priest, brother, or sister, or maybe you're a consecrated single person or a consecrated lay person, as members of our Holy Family Institute are. And so we reflect upon how the Lord has called you, and whatever your vocational call, the Lord has given you gifts and abilities and talents to maintain that vocation. And all you have to do is be a person of prayer and keep coming to the Lord, asking him for those gifts, asking him for guidance, asking him for direction in your life. I'm also going to ask you that you pray for vocations, in particular for vocations to the Society of St. Paul. As we are getting older in our uh, congregation here in the United States, we need some young people to replenish our, 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 our work and ministry that we are doing. So I ask that you pray for us and pray for uh, young people to answer the call to become a Pauline priest or brother. And that is part of that call that we have received, is part of the basis of our secret of success. The secret of success is a prayer that our founder gave to us, and it comes from the Gospel, Matthew 6, verse 33. So if you remember nothing today, remember 6, 33 of the Gospel of Matthew, because it says, seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all other things will be given you besides. And that is the pact, that is the secret of success. So out of the pact that he, Blessed Alberioni, and his vicar general, which is Blessed Timothy Giacardo, are two blesseds, they wrote, we will seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. We promise to do that. Sign, James and Timothy. And all these things will be given to you besides. Sign, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that is the commitment. The commitment is we understand that we're going to give all that we have. When we talk about Jesus, the divine master, way, truth, and life, we talk in the Pauline family giving our mind, our heart, our will, the entire being that we have, we give to the Lord. And we say at times we sin, at times we stumble, at times we falter. We don't have all the answers. But the Lord does. 
And if we answer that call that all of us have received and we give ourselves everything to the Lord, then he in turn will give us everything that we need. He will show us his will. He gives us the example of Mary, queen of apostles, his mother, and St. Paul, the apostle, our patron, shows us the example of them following the Lord. It shows that we will be provided for all the things that we need for our ministry, for our lives. He gives us our housing. He gives us the food. He gives us the technology that need. we need, the knowledge, the funding, all the things that we need. We put our faith and trust in divine providence. So as we gather here today, I ask that you pray and reflect upon, come to me, all of you, that you have all received a vocational call to answer that call, and then listen to Matthew 6.33. We will seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all other things will be given to us besides. Because if we give ourselves completely and he gives everything that we need, then we become, as we said last week, true missionaries, true ones who will share the gospel message, true people that through our lives will bring others to know Jesus Christ, the divine master, in their lives as well. Let us stand together now and share our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, in the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident that God hears our cry, we gather our prayers and the prayers of the neediest among us. For the church, that in living and proclaiming the mystery of Christ, the wisdom of God may be revealed to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Synod on the Amazon in Rome, that the Holy Spirit will inspire their dialogue and open new pathways for the people of God in that region. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we come to know and follow Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life, who was sent by the Father, saying, This is my beloved Son. Hear him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the sick and homebound and those recovering from surgery, that God will bring healing and renewal to them in body, mind, and spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of the Pauline family, that they may live and promote the devotion to the divine master as the most precious inheritance of blessed James Alberini, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations to the Pauline family, the priesthood, and the consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as we pray this Mass, let us remember Eleanor Mistovich. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
I think Dan has been in the Youngstown area. He said Alberini's. It's Alberioni. Alberini's is the restaurant, I think. Is, you know. We also pray for the sister disciples of the Divine Master on this, their major feast, as part of the Pauline family, that the spirit of the Divine Master will inspire their life and ministry. We pray to the Lord. Loving God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life, help us to learn the wisdom of the Gospels in the spirit of St. Paul, so that we may make all nations his disciples, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The hymn during the preparation of the gifts can be found in your missal, number 231, Blessed Assurance, number 231. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchased of old, born of the Spirit, washed in his this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, Lord, the bread and the wine we offer you with joy for the Eucharistic sacrifice, and make us a pure offering for the praise of your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, Father, most holy, God of infinite mercy, from all eternity you have offered us your immortal life. You created the world and watched over it with immense love. As Father, you watched over all your creatures and reunite in one family humanity, created for the glory of your name, redeemed by the cross of your Son, marked with the seal of your Spirit. Today we give thanks to you for your Christ, whom you have given us as the one and universal teacher. He is your living word, the sure way that leads to you, the eternal truth that sets us free, the unending life that fills us with joy. Our voices raise the hymn of gratitude to you, Father, for these gifts of your goodness. And with all the choirs of angels and saints, in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full. Are 
full of your glory. Oh, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Paul, Blessed Timothy Jacardo, Blessed James Alberioni, all our Pauline saints and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us turn and offer to each other a sign of peace. Peace of Christ with you. Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccata mundi, Dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The hymn during communion can be found in your missal, number 259, Let Us Break Bread Together, number 259. Body of Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. my knees with my face to the rising sun O Lord have mercy on me let us drink wine together on our knees let us drink wine together on our knees when I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun O Lord have mercy on me let us praise God together on our knees let us praise God together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, O Lord, have mercy on me. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. We are one body, one body in Christ. And we do not stand alone. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. We are one body, one body in Christ. And he came that we might have life 
For he tells us, when you eat my body and you drink my blood, I will live in you and you will live in my love. When you eat my body and you drink my blood, I will live in you and you will live in my love. We are one body, one body in Christ. And we do not stand alone. The body of Christ. We are one body, one body in Christ. And he came that we might have life. For he tells us, can you hear them crying? Can you feel their pain? Will you feed my hungry? Will you help my lame? See the unborn baby, the forgotten one. They are not forsaken, they are not un. Love. We are one body, one body in Christ, and we do not stand alone. I God bless you. We are one body, one body in Christ, and He came that we might have life, for He tells us. I am the way, the truth, the life. I am the final sacrifice. I am the way, the truth, the life. He who believes in me will have eternal life. He who believes in me will have eternal life. I have come your Savior that you might have life the tears and sorrow, through the toil and strife. Listen when I call you, for I know your need. Come to me, your shepherd, for my flock I feed. We are one body, one body in Christ, and we do not stand alone. We are one body, one body in Christ, and he came that we might have life, and he came that we might have Let us pray. Lord, we have nourished ourselves with the body and blood of Christ. Illumined by his divine doctrine, may we faithfully travel the way that leads to salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, musician. We thank our reader. Thank all of you for joining us at our Mass here at St. Paul Monastery and those who are joining us over our ecumenical channel here in Northeast Ohio. Just a reminder to the members of our Pauline family, we do have a holy hour starting at 11 o'clock and anybody else who wants to join us for a time of prayer and devotion will be from 11 to 12. And I would ask that if you would kindly put the sheets on the table on the back as you go out, we can use them again next year. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Our closing hymn can be found in the Missal, number 262, Just a Closer Walk with Thee, number 262. I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. I'll be satisfied as long as I walk. Let me walk close to thee. Just a closer walk with Thee. Granted, Jesus is my plea. 
daily walking close to Thee. Let it be, dear Lord, let it be.